just started reading this book. I know it looks old and like maybe not that appealing, but it is so good. I'm three chapters in. Joe's been trying to get me to read it since we were in New York. Guys, it is so freaking good. Definitely check it out if you guys are interested. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another weekend week in my life, not weekend. Um, it is Tuesday. I'm gonna be vlogging Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I leave for Greece on Friday. Yesterday was my one day in between conference and school in Greece and blah, 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 blah. So I got a few things done. I actually did end up working. I should have vlogged it, but I was so exhausted. Guys, conference was incredible. It was like my favorite weekend of my life. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Woo! What am I doing? Um, this week, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what it's like working in college having a job also probably not relatable at all unless you like work for yourself I'm going to Greece technically that is for work on Friday which with what I do comes traveling and stuff so I'm just gonna kind of show you guys throughout the week like what I do I've actually been prepping and pre uploading videos for the past few weeks for conference in Greece and school and stuff just so I would be like a little bit more ahead I do have one video that I need to film and I need to edit and upload it before I leave for Greece got a lot to do today I have a meeting yeah, it's not as hectic as it could have been because I have been prepping for this trip and everything for a while. This is what I'm wearing for the day. Um, these pants are misguided. This, no, wait. I actually don't know where these pants are from. This is misguided. Um, oh yeah, and then I'm wearing these sneakers, but I need to make breakfast before I finish filming this haul. I filmed the try on portion, but I need to film the rest of it. I feel like I look like I'm five right now, and I feel like it doesn't even look like it's in a hair ponytail or anything. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram. In my office now, but I just made some oatmeal. Coco just walked in the door. With strawberries, almond butter, quinoa, not quinoa, still cut oats, um, chia seeds, and brown sugar. It's very good. I am now exhausted. It's been 20 minutes since I last talked to you. I thought the coffee hit, it didn't. But I'm going to set up a background to film, I think. I'm gonna try this with this chair because I haven't really done that one in a while. There's a lot of like places that I can film at here. Um, oh, there's so much trash to take out. I need caffeine. Filming this huge back to school haul. Getting ready. Okay, I just finished filming my haul and now I am going to go prep a little more for my Greece trip. I'm not gonna pack yet, I'm just planning outfits. So I'm gonna bring these into my room. So I'm going to pack really on Wednesday, but this is kind of what I have for my 10 day trip. I'm probably gonna add, like obviously I have like swimsuits and pajamas and um, pajama, what? I don't know what else I have to add, whatever. So, so far I have 14 dresses alone for a 10 day trip, which is, Awesome, so I just want to have every outfit and make sure that I like love all of them and just have them ready to go So to make it easier for packing, but as far as all that goes, it's looking pretty good so far Also, this is my new juicy candle guys. I'm not kidding if you guys have seen my notebook that I have of this It looks it's the exact same design it smells amazing. Not gonna lie. I'm a huge fan of this very cute So now I'm just gonna import my footage and get started on editing this video if you guys saw a few weeks ago, I got a package from the beauty chef. So there's this collagen and then this antioxidant. I just did some research online and I believe I can put both in my water. If I can't, let me know. I'm sure you guys will. But yeah, these are just really good. They're like inner beauty boost and you can just put them in your water, which I'm going to start doing all the time. For lunch, we just made some tacos. I actually used a HelloFresh meal that I had left over. Huge, huge fan of HelloFresh, guys. Use it even when it's not sponsored. Okay, I'm packed and ready for my meeting. I throw it over there. Put your body on Thank you. Have a good day. I got my Venti Ice Dirty Chai with two shots because I need energy. I do not know what hit me. But I'm on my way to DBA, and that's where my meeting is. Not that any of you guys know where that is, slash care. Uh, um, am I even supposed to be turning here? Okay, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna cry. I don't know why I'm crying. 
Oh my, I like actually feel like I'm gonna cry. I don't know why, not in like a good way. Anyways, totally unrelated. Uh, I don't know, I really don't know why I'm like cheering up right now. <sighs> Anyways, I'm on my way to my meeting. Life is awesome, also just a random thought. Wasn't even gonna say this much in the camera, but I was just thinking about how like, genuinely aside from starting a YouTube channel, Going to ZLC is the best decision I've ever made in my entire life and like the most impactful like literally I can't even like describe like spent like all weekend crying just because I'm just so like in awe and just so happy Anyways, um Which reminds me of this thought that I just kept coming back to me at conference and it was like are you willing to like Let go of who you thought you were supposed to be in order to be who you're called to be and that just like, I don't know, it like really stuck with me. I've just been thinking about that and like, I was not crying until I turned the camera on and then I started to like tear up. Anyways, just the drama queen. Speaking of, um, <laughs> my friend taught me this trick like a few nights ago when we were driving for conference, but she's like, oh, I, she was like, I listened to Beyonce live to like get pumped up. Started listening to Beyonce live pump, to get pumped up. I'm feeling amazing. So I really like Diva, it's my favorite one. It's not surprising, I know. Okay, I am leaving my meeting right now hoping that I'm driving on the wrong or the right side of the street Not the wrong side. I don't want to do that. Oh my gosh. It is so bright. My eyes are so sensitive I'm gonna start crying again Literally my pastor Chad texted me this morning just, I mean, it wasn't like a nice text. It, it was a good text. So I'll give him that. And I literally teared up. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? I'm this emotional baby. I was never like this. I used to be tough. My eyes are watering. And that guy looks like Ryan Gosling. Okay. I don't know. My eyes are watering. It's really just the sun this time, guys. I'm not being a baby. So I left my meeting. Um, it was a podcast meeting. As you guys know, I'm starting a podcast. I was going to keep it a secret, but like at this point, it's so obvious. It's just like whatever. I'd rather be able to talk about it. So, quick story. <laughs> Originally, it was gonna launch September first, and now we're looking at late September because I signed with basically a production team. Can I only? I can definitely go this way, right? I think so. Yeah. Um, I signed with like it's a podcast network, but also they're like producing my show doing like literally what i wanted my podcast to be a year and a half two years from now it's starting at that which is so crazy also this truck is literally driving on the wrong side of the road and it's not me i think that no joe and the juice is definitely the, uh, this way anyways left my meeting on my way to get coffee with my friend kat who has been in vlogs before so Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyways, I'm so excited. Like, I just feel so good. Anyway, the reason it's getting pushed back is because I signed with them. They're producing everything, so we're re-recording pretty much most of my episodes that we have recorded just because we want to make sure they're perfect and, like, audio and whatever. But it takes so much weight off my shoulders because they're helping so much and doing so much, and it's just so awesome to, like, have a team to work with, especially here. And the office has, like, the most insane view. It's so cool. Love it. And there's a studio. So I get to go to the studio, which I've decided is going to be the coolest part of um, what's the, uh, being a podcaster. I guess that's a thing. Because I can go to the studio like Drake. So I'm really excited for that. I also kind of feel like a pop star because I'm available on Spotify and iTunes. I mean, I know, I know that I'm not one, but like it's kind of fun, you know? I get to go to the studio and I get to be on Spotify and iTunes. So I don't know what else. Um, you're supposed to do as a pop star, but uh, I'll be getting on that right away. Don't want to just have parking because there's a parking lot, definitely with private parking for Little Lemon. There's literally no reason that Little Lemon should have that parking. Lighting ugly, so ugly. So I'm going to meet up with Kat. Wait, what drink did I even get? Do you remember? Cat's, cat's back? It's not, oh now it is. Perfect, the focus on the perfect timing. I don't know, I got some juice. They're really small here. This is a $7 juice. This is $7. It's, yeah, anyways.
Okay, everyone. It is now, what time is it? 7.34 p.m. Got back from the meeting, pre-uploaded a ton of videos that are going to be going live while I'm in Greece for 10 days. I have like one more, which is just this video, to make sure it's up, because as of right now, I'm in Greece. If you guys haven't already, you follow me on Instagram, because that's what I'll be posting. Ian and I are gonna go to our favorite restaurant ever. Um, it's called Rice Walk. It's a award-winning place. It's a five-star restaurant, if you will. It's our fave, so we're gonna go there. Got my rice walk. Really living a grand life over here. My favorite meal. My favorite friend. He's ignoring me. I don't exist in his eyes. Thank you, girly. <laughs> really appreciate your help and everything you do for me. I have to record it so people know that I'm nice to you. Back home, just got out of the shower. I put a charcoal face mask on. So it's supposed to be purifying my pores. We'll see how that works out. So, Morgan wants to bring a carry-on to Greece for a 10-day trip, and I could probably do that, but actually, I don't know. We'll pack, we'll pack tomorrow and figure that one out. Anyways, I'm gonna watch some Netflix, and I have my nice takeout. This is literally my ideal situation every single night, but I obviously can't do that every night. I'm getting all my stuff ready for tomorrow. I have my outfit picked out right here, all white, very cozy, very comfy. We'll probably wear some white sneakers as well. By the way, this is the face mask that I used. I used it in another video or vlog or something. Oh, I was just watching a sermon, you know, being a saint, it's whatever. Good morning, guys. I don't like this lighting ever in the morning. It's Wednesday, I'm heading to class. I'm actually going to Starbucks to do Devo's with some friends and then we're going to class. I have school from nine to three today. Normally I have it on Tuesdays, but since conference happened, is this better? No. <laughs> since conference happened, um, we were off yesterday, so that's why I had that. But anyways, um, it's 7 a.m. and I've already made a little stop at Firestone today. As we know, if you guys have watched my last vlog, I talk about how I'm like a hypochondriac, but with my car. So I go into Firestone all the time. But it's really just because I drive a BMW and so there's sensors and because I go to Firestone to get the stuff fixed, because I love my guy at Firestone and he never takes advantage of me and we're pals, um, if you have to like pay to get the sensor, so like my sensor is like messed up, but I got that all fixed. Anyways, so I'm driving down the street. It's almost like I like my friends at Firestone at this point. Like I like going into Firestone. Shout out to Firestone, they're the best. My dad loves them and he doesn't even know them, but they call him because the guy is so awesome and he's just the best. Anyways, I'm just driving down the street and then I get a right low, right tire rear, no, something low. My tire was low. And I was like, ah! Oh, Oh my gosh, I'm right by Firestone. I might as well stop in and say hi to my friends. And I walk in and he goes, Kinsey, are you kidding me? It's been six days. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my gosh, it's just my tire. I need some air. So then they filled up all of my tires and we had a good chat. And now I'm off to Starbucks. I'll only be there 10 minutes late, so that's fine. Yeah, I just love my pals over at Firestone. It's like, I just love going to hang, you know? But um, yeah, so nothing's wrong with my car apparently this time. But. You know, I just like to be safe. It all happened, in all seriousness, once I, knock on wood, pray to God, um, had that blow, like, tire, my tire blew out on the 405. Um, once that happened, I handled that like a champ, and I was, like, not even upset about it, didn't even have a bad day, still made it a great day. Molly and I had a good time in a weird way, but, um, once that happened, now I'm just, like, so... I don't know like I'm just so scared when I drive my car and anything feels weird and I think I just make things up or like the road feels weird and I'm like freaking out about it it's really stupid I'm never like that I don't get scared about anything like I'm like whatever I'll walk in an alley at, like four in the morning by myself and not get scared not good don't do that guys don't do that at home but yeah anyways good morning and this is the point of this clip was to say hello it's Wednesday the three minute long clip I'm gonna shut up Back 
back home getting some editing done before I head to my nail appointment. I have some coffee, some leftovers from last night, and then some water. I have my beauty chef stuff in there, so that's why it looks like that, but now I'm editing this video. Just got my nails filled and a pedicure. I actually got my toes to match, which I think may have been a bad idea. I always get red on my toes. Who knows, guys? But I like this color. It's different than, I mean, it's not different. It's actually pretty much the same I always get, but I like it. Yes, great to be here. Um, you are here for our Hillsong Worship and Creative. Why we keep coming back, we're like, they're just so fun. Like, we have. Hey guys, good morning. It is Thursday morning, so it is my last day before I leave for Greece, and in no way, shape, or form am I ready or prepared. So that's awesome. Haven't packed, um, haven't done anything else that would make me prepared. So good. Um, wearing the same sweater, different different outfit though. I just threw this on because I was cold in the car. I'm on my way to class. I'm doing like an LA life hacks thing. I have to tell all the new students what to do around here. So that'll be good. Um, and then after school, I'm getting my hair done, but I'm gonna film an entire video while I'm there. Kind of about, like my hair care routine, what I do, like I'm gonna take you to the salon and show you guys what I ask for because that is a question I get all the time and I thought that it would be helpful. And my hairstylist is awesome and I wanted to film with her. So, I'm gonna be doing that. Lana's gonna be meeting me, so I probably won't vlog there. Oh! I just did a perfect parallel parking job, but that's not why we're here. Um, this morning I was listening to the Hill Song Creative Podcast. I listened to one with Brian Houston and then I just started this new one. But. Yeah, you guys are always asking about what I'm listening to. So, I started listening to this last night at the nail salon. I listened to one with Brooke Leisurewood. I think that's how you pronounce I, like, never know how to pronounce her name. I know, but I just don't know. And then I also listened to... Uh, oh, the one with J.D. Douglas. Yeah, there we go. This looks incredible. Oh, so weird. <laughs> Got my really cute verb. Okay, it is... Now, after school, we had a barbecue, and we actually went to like an elementary school and gave up backpacks today, which is really fun. But I am really tired, if you guys can tell. I was just outside, and it's hot, and yeah. Anyways, I'm heading to get my hair done before Greece. So, you guys will see that after. I'm not gonna vlog there, because I'm actually gonna film a video. So, I will catch up with you guys once I get my hair done and everything, and then I, um, what else? Oh, and I pack for Greece and stuff tonight. We will, we'll catch up and chat then. In the middle of packing, I got some takeout. Okay, so this is a sneak peek on my new hair, which you guys will see on my Instagram and in every other video. But I have an entire video that's gonna be talking about that. Um, that is the, it, what? That's the end of this week in my life vlog. I'm just prepping for Greece. Nothing's gonna be too exciting tonight. Honestly, I just wanna sleep, but I have so much to do, so that's not happening. Love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you soon. Where the hell are my friends?